Hi, this is Bruce Bear, and I'm here at Female Menopause Mentors, a, a site that connects women in menopause with expert advice. And there you see my picture and Anne Valancourt, and then there's our logo. I want to tell you about two new posts that have been put on the blog recently. One is called The Sandwich, How Can It Be Bad For Me? And it was written by Anne Valancourt. Now, Anne's not talking about uh, two slices of bread with a piece of meat. As you can see right here, this refers to women being caught between taking care of aging parents and children at the same time. Uh, the AARP, everybody knows about the AARP if you're over 30 years old, did a survey that showed that 45% of women between the ages of 45 and 55 have one living parent and at least one child younger than 21, and that one in eight baby boomers are identified as caring and supporting both a parent and a child. Big burden. We're not talking about children five years old. We're talking about children college age or just out of college and can't find a job. Many of us can identify with that. One of the things that women who are caught in this situation need to realize is, is that they're usually menopausal and they need to take care of themselves better. Anne provides three tips here and some other information about how to do that. The main thing she advises is take care of yourself first. One of the things this reminds me of is a talk by a fellow by the name of Doug Weed who said that on every airline in every part of the world, no matter what country, behind the Iron Curtain, behind the Bamboo Curtain, uh, in the Middle East, when they give you instructions on a plane, they tell you when the oxygen comes down in the event of emergency, put the oxygen on yourself first and then on your child or the person next to you. In that situation, if you don't do that, you'll be unable to help anyone else. Remember that, menopausal women, when you're caught in the situation of the sandwich generation. Now, I wrote an article, and here it's going to come up in just a second, hopefully. It's called Bioidentical Hormones. Here it is. Are, are they better for you? The answer, in short, comes from a publication called The Medical Letter. And what they say is there is no acceptable, acceptable evidence that bioidentical hormones are safe or effective patient should be discouraged from taking them. Now these guys are usually negative about new drugs and this is about as negative as I've ever seen them be for anything. Now with bioidentical hormones we're talking about substances that have been derived from plants chemically altered to look like your own hormones whether that be estrogen, progesterone, women, or guys, testosterone. It's put in a cream or a lotion, you rub it on your skin. Now, they make testosterone that way, uh, but it's extremely expensive when you buy it from pharmaceutical companies, and most insurance companies won't pay for enough for a month. And ladies, uh, these bioidentical hormones are being used to help you look younger primarily and to avoid some of the symptoms of menopause. The medical letter says the primary problem is they're not regulated many times these compounds are uh, contaminated and you need to be very very careful about their use. Why don't you take a look at these two articles and leave me a comment on this one. Tell me what you think about what I have to say, what the medical letter has to say, and about your own experience. I've heard many positive comments from patients but as they say caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. You need to be careful when you're using these compounds. This is Bruce Bear bringing you this video from femalemenopausementors.com, the blog. I hope that you've enjoyed what I've presented to you here. I look forward to your comments either on the video or on the blog. Thanks a lot.